פרק שמיני משנה א', 8th chapter first משנה. כבר הזכרנו שפרק זה, הפרק האחרון במסכתנו, we already mentioned this chapter, the last chapter in מסכת יומא, דן בעינוי יום כיפור. It uh, discusses the afflictions of יום כיפור. וכן בענייני תשובה וכפרה, we are also going to learn about תשובה and repentance and atonement. משנתנו באה ללמד, this משנה comes to teach us, שעינויי יום הכיפורים כולל חמישה דברים. Mm-hmm. The afflictions of יום כיפור means five things. So let's see what they are. יום הכיפורים, the day of יום כיפור, the day and night of receipt 24 hours, אסור באכילה ובשתייה וברחיצה. It's not prohibited eating, drinking and washing, במים, in water. אבל מקווה מותר. לא. אז הכהן גדול עושה מקווה. He is allowed to go, he's doing services on the temple. Yeah. Remember, you have to, yeah, you have to remember, yeah, but you have to remember, in the temple, everything oh. that you're allowed to do in Yom Kippur, he, he was allowed. He, the, that's how you learn. You learn from all the things that they, was done in the temple, that's what you're not allowed to do. Yeah, the temple is, this is God, this is not you. Yeah. In other words, Rechitza is Inui, Uh, is pleasurable for you, but if it's a mitzvah, it's not as well. Okay. For him, it's a mitzvah. Okay. There's nothing to do with it. Okay. That's why he's allowed to eat and drink also, the mishaleach, if you remember. Uberechitza, b'mayim, you're allowed to, uh, not allowed to wash in water, but you're allowed to wash in other liquids. They're not nice. It's not, uh, yeah? It's a liquid. I don't know, nobody does. I don't know. In orange juice. If you enjoy it, go ahead. Ubesicha. And this is another thing that people don't do today. But in the old time, it was very, uh, it was done constantly. People used to anoint themselves. They used to put oil all over themselves. Not like lotions today, that a little bit will. Like, really, like, oil. the whole thing is with oil. Today, nobody does it. But in the old times, it was done often. Ubeinilata sandal. Also, one is not allowed to wear leather shoes. שלא הוא בתשמיש המיטה, and also one is allowed to have marital relationships. בגמרא מבואר, the Gemara explains that they're not all the same. They're not all have the same status. שאכילה ושתייה נחשבות כדבר אחד. So when it comes to eating and drinking, that's the same thing, that's important. הואיל ושתייה בכלל אכילה היא, since drinking is part of eating, והרי חמישה עינויים ביום הכיפורים, כנגדכם שאומרים בתורה, And this is the five afflictions I said in the Torah. Let's see, Aleph. Bachodesh ha-shvi'i, ba-asor la-chodesh, ta'anu et nafshotechem. It says in the seventh month, in the tenth of the month, you should afflict your souls. And then it says, Shabbat Shabbaton ilachem, v'initim et nafshotechem. And then it says, it's going to be, you know, like to work on this Shabbat, you should afflict your souls again. Another verse. And then another verse it says, Ach ba-asor la-chodesh ha-shvi'i, ha-zi yom ha-kippurim hu, The tenth of this month, it is Yom Kippur, and it says afflict again, one more time. Shabbat, and then Dalet, Shabbat Shabbaton Elachem, and it is Yom Kippur, again one more time, you should afflict your, your souls, and then one more time, and hey, and it is Yom Kippur, so five times, it says afflict your souls. So you have to have five afflictions, otherwise it wasn't necessary to say five times. It's the five now. Beram, Masha Katuv, but then it says, a, it says, what happens if you don't inflict? It says, ber, it says like this, ber, ki kol nefesh asher latuune betzim ayom hazeh, it says, all the soul that is not going to inflict itself in that day, what happens to that soul? Venichreta me'amea, it gets cut off from its nation. Lo ne'emar ela alachila v'shtiya bilvad, that goes on only eating and drinking, not on the other things. Ah. Eating and drinking is karis. The other one, you're not allowed to do it, but it's not karis. It's It's prohibited from the Torah, but it's not karas. אבל שאר העינויים, but the other afflictions, אין בהם עונש קראת. The punishment is not current. ונחלקו המפרשים בטעם הדברים. The commentaries have a different of opinions, why is that so? יש סוברים, there are those who hold, שאומנם כל העינויים מן התורה הם. It says, first of all, you should know they're all from the Torah. שכן שנו בברייתא, because the brighter says, מניין ליום הכיפורים שאסור ברחיצה, בסיכה, נראית הסנדל. It says, how do we know יום כיפור? It says all these things. תמוד לומר שבתון, because it says שבתון, שבת שבתון יילחם וניתן בנפשותיכם. 
והרי זה בא לרבות עינויים אחרים מלבד עינויי של אכילת ושתייה. In other words, there's another verse over there that tells you that there's an extra affliction besides eating and drinking. אבל מכל מקום, but nevertheless, you should know, עיקר עינויי הנפש אינו לא באכילה ושתייה. It's true. You learn the other ones from eating and drinking. But since you learn everything from eating and drinking, these are the main ones. On these you get karet. And because the other ones you learn from them, you know how to do that. Prohibition from the Torah, but there's no prohibition of karet. Okay. כפי שגם למדים בגמרא מן המקרות. ועל עינוי זה בלבד נאמר בתורה עונש כרת. So on only eating and drinking says the prohibition of karas. ויש סוברים שלא נצווינו בתורה, אלא אלוהי הנפש, שהוא אוכל אב שתייה. Some say disagree. He says from the Torah it's only eating and drinking. בלבד. And only you need to be in drinking, on it it says karas. אבל שאר העינויים אינם אלא מדי רבנן, but everything else are only a mitzvah from the rabbis. וכל הדרשות מן הכתובים, זאת אומרת, הוא אומר, מה אתה רוצה חמש פעמים עינויים? הוא אומר, אתה צריך אותם לדברים אחרים, לא בשביל זה, אתה יודע, זה רק אסמכתה. אסמכתה אומרת, זה הנט, זה הנט לרבים להגיד לך, אבל, כן, yeah, אסמכתה אסמכתות בלבד הם. <coughs> מכל מקום, אבל נבד אלס, אף לדעת הסוברים שאף עינויים מן התורה, מן התורה הם, הוא אין לי, אבל אפילו לכל מיני שאומרים שעינויים הם מהתורה, שכל האחרים הם מהתורה, It says, since it doesn't specifically say that you get karet for the other ones, you don't get karet. שרק כתוב מדבר בעינוי הנפש, מה שמו בכלל שתה בלבד, אלא נדרשים הם מריבוי הכתוב שבתון. You learn it from another word, שבתון, כמו שהבנו לעיל, לפיכך קלים הם יותר מאכילה ושתייה. So even if you, say, you want to say that from the Torah, they're still not as severe as eating and drinking, because it doesn't say specifically in the Torah about them, you just learn it from the word שבתון, therefore the, we... There's no caress on them, other things. ומסרם הכתוב לחכמים, והם יכולים להקל ולהתיר בהם כפי שנראה להם. So in other words, now, since we know they're prohibited from the Torah, now the question, in other words, and we know eating and drinking is caress, the question is, now you give it in the hand of the rabbis to decide what the other ones are, and the other rabbis decided that the other ones, they could have said caress, but they said no, no they're not caress. What's the exception? There's an exception, some people are allowed to wash. Yeah. Who, is, who is allowed to wash? <laughs> and, and, and by the way, and from here we see, and from here we see that it's not Kavis. Oh, we see. There's no such thing as Malkai in the Jewish nation. Oh, no? no? There's no such concept. You know, a woman is not allowed to lead. A woman is not allowed to be a leader. She's the wife of the king. Like in America, what's the, what's the Mrs. There's no Malka. There's not, only a king. No, but if Biden was a king, he would have been a king. It's like in England. You remember England? Yes. You remember the queen? Yes. She had a husband. Yes. What was he? Nothing. Nothing. He wasn't a king. He was nothing. The queen is the, the king is the king, and the queen is nothing. Just the opposite. Yeah? The queen was the queen. Everybody knew this is the queen. And what power did the king have? No, he was her husband. He was Mrs. Queen. <laughs> he was Mr. Queen. That's what he was. No, there's no such thing. No. Women cannot have any uh, leading positions. Mm-hmm. But the king and the bride are allowed to wash their face. זה הכלה זה אשתו כאילו. לא, לא, לא. You see, you see, you see what's a כלה. מותרים לרחוץ את פניהם ביום הכיפורים. They're allowed to wash their face in יום כיפור. המלך, why is the king allowed? Easy. משום שנאמר, מלך ביופיו תחזינה עיניך. The king has to look presentable. You cannot play games. He has to look like this. He's a king. והכלה, כלה, he doesn't say what כלה. כלה means she got married in 30 days. She got married within the last 30 days. והכלה, כדי שלא תתגנה על בעלה. And the כלה, oh, it says over here. And the כלה is so that she, she's not going to become um, not looking nice by her husband, she's newly married. הוא מבואר בגמרא שכל 30 יום לאחר החופה נקראת כלה על עניין זה. The כלה is considered 30 days after marriage. All, so this is, uh, they're allowed to wash. And the, פנים, yeah. והחיה, what about the midwife? The midwife, 
והחיה היולדת תנעול את הסנדל. She is allowed to wear leather shoes. Why she is allowed to wear leather shoes? מותר לה לנעול את הסנדל ביום כיפורים משום שהצינה קשה לה. She is there saving lives. She, she needs to be comfortable. She cannot have, uh, you know, bothered by your feet and then you endangering human life. She has a dangerous job. She has an important job, saving lives. She has to be, look, be as comfortable as she needs to be. So she's allowed to. This is the Brei Rabbi Eliezer. This is the words of Rabbi Eliezer. Musav gam al HaMelech HaMalka, and this goes also on the king and the queen. V'chachamir... No, HaMelech VaKala. כבר בלבלתי אותך, אתה אומר HaMelech VaMalka. אה, HaMelech VaKala, sorry. It goes on the king and the, and the bride. וחכמים עושים, בתי חכמים, don't give them permission. The sage ah. says no, אפילו במלך ובכלה לרחוץ מהם, there's no exception, he says, even a king, even the bride, they're not allowed to wash their face, ואפילו בחייל לא סדר, and they, even the midwife is not allowed, which is dangerous, he says no, she's not, it's Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur is Yom Kippur, סאפו. No, what do you mean she's a midwife? She's in the hospital. Ah, she's in the hospital? Yeah, she's giving birth. She's a doctor. Think about it, a doctor. Oh. She, she needs to go with uncomfortable shoes in those days. Today it's not a problem. You have plenty of shoes that yeah, you can wear. But in those days, it was, she needs to go with uncomfortable shoes. Let's wear it this way. And the halacha is like Rabbi Eliezer, that what? That we give them permission, not like Chachamim. So even though Chachamim go against Rabbi Yezer, the halacha is like Rabbi Yezer and not like Chachamim. But that's 